Hello, I'm Mort Kern from the University of California, Irvine, professor of medicine and interventional cardiologist working at the Long Beach VA as well. And I'm here with my colleague, Ziad Ali from Columbia University, director of interventional cardiology research program and highlighted. And that was the post-PCI FFR. Now, Dr. Uretsky's group has been using the OptiWire as a primary wire, workhorse wire, all yeah. the way through finishing with the FFR. And uh, give me your thoughts on how often we should do that or why we're not doing it more. Well, I'm going to start with why we're not doing it more, and that is because uh, the, the technology, right? So up until really the Opsins wire, which handles more like a workhorse wire than any other wires, but has an incredible feature in this connect, reconnect. Yes. So being able to disconnect this, maneuver it, and reconnect it with really out a significant change in pressure really gets you to the point at which it makes it easy to do a post-PCI physiological assessment. At least in my practice, I found it difficult. I often ended up damaging the wire. It was difficult to get through the struts. I'd be pushing, and now I'm wondering, am I causing more harm than good? And I think we have a very good idea and understanding of the physiological concepts, the background, but we're limited by the wires, and we have been uh, traditionally. We recently completed a study at our institution which showed that 58% of over 1,000 tracings ended up getting tossed by the core lab saying either there's you know pressure drift or an artifact, something that ended up making them, uh, getting them excluded from being able to be analyzed. That's a huge problem. What can we do to fix that 50% bad tracing track record? So at least half of it more can be handled by the wire. So poor wire characteristics, particularly drift, can be simplified and corrected using appropriate technology. And that's really where I think Opsense has a major advantage. We've discussed this in the past, but as you said, this is a second generation opto wire going on to the third generation where they've taken a lot of time and energy to make this as close to a workhorse as possible. Right. And focused on the areas that really matter to making this uh, concept of a science uh, ahead of the technology. And I think that using physiology should not only be to tell us when we should be putting in stents, I think more importantly should be telling us when we shouldn't be putting in stents. I couldn't agree more.